Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to generate fans for your Blender 4.1 3D animation and 3D modeling software. You can see this is the fans that I generated for the Blender just by using a curve and just using a template. I'm going to show you the step by step how to make the curve and make the template and finally how to generate any of the fans with any shapes in Blender for your 3D modeling and 3D animation project. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. All right, everything is going to start from beginning. This is Blender 4.1. I'm going to show you this step by step. First, just click the empty area and press A and press delete button to delete everything from here. In Blender 4.1 or any other version of the Blender, for each of the grids, it is equivalent to one meter times one meter. So if you want to create your fans, you need to create a template of a single pillar first. So I'm going to just add a mesh, add a cube, then here I'm going to press S. I'm going to make it a pillar. Then just click here to just make it up. Should be approximately like this so you may just click negative y this is one meter it should be somewhere about one and a half meter to make it a fan but just because of this is the full length so you may just want to shorter it and just click here to make it up click again so it is more than one meter about one and a half meter then this is just a pillar next we are going to to make another structure we are going to add a mesh add a cube just press S like this push it up then scale it like this. All right. Then make it up. So this piece we are going to copy it. Control C and Control V. Control C and Control V. Just like that. All right. So you may just click the X just to make sure that. It have the similar distance according to the grid. All right. Once you've done this part, the whole template already done. Then you can just combine all of this to become a single mesh. Just click, hold the shift, select every one, then right click it, join. It will become a single mesh and. We are going to click and press F2 to just name it name this as fence. Alright. Alright, now you can see it really become become a, a template. This is a fence template. Next we are going to draw draw a path, draw a curve for this template to duplicate along. So sometimes you may want to just make it longer. Alright, so next, what we need to do is just unseen the fence, just hide it first, and we are going to draw a curve. We are going to just add a mesh, add a cube. So we are going to just name this as curve for fence. Then click, go to the edit mode, then right click it, merge the vertices at the center, then click the Z. So from here, we are going to draw the, the curve or the path of the fence. Just press E to extrude. Just press E to extrude whatever shape. You can see, actually, this is the boundary of the fence. So once done already, then you may just go to 
you are going to press A to select all and then just press Ctrl B then click click the bevel here click the vertices then the width you can just make it smooth just make it smooth if you want then the segment you can just make it more smooth like this what's done already back to the object mode now you can see this this curve of the fence already done then you have to right click convert to curve then at this moment just now you already hide the fence template just just make sure you unhide it and then the orientation you must make sure that it is parallel to the X axis so at this moment you have to rotate it make sure it is parallel to the X axis so we can just direct make it as 90 degree here all right here just make it 90 degree press enter then again control a or transform next you can see the curve is already here we also already have a fence template that you make it just now so next what you need to do is just go to the modifier add a modifier search for array then add another modifier search for curve then the curve you have to choose the curve that you had drawn just now and then the count you can just drag it here if you are not satisfied with the fence you can modify it anytime for example if this part I want to make it have a, a very sharp sharp edge at here so actually you can re-edit it click the fence go to the edit mode we are going to just edit a single one for example I choose the edge here and hold the shift choose here just make it sharp like this sorry you can just move it or just choose this surface just press E to extrude it then just make this become sharp in this way or you can modify the rest just for example this face and this face you want it to be bigger at the same time here and another side here you have to hold the shift to select it this is the process of the 3d modeling or actually you can just make it big or make it small it is really easy all right it is not that complicated sometimes even you can drag this face to just make it up all right now you can see this fence is ready then back to the object mode you can see it automatic will make the changes for your fence or the wall it is really easy then some more you have this curve if you go to the edit mode you still can adjust the the curve you still can adjust the curve in this way if you want it is really easy All right
that's all for today about my tutorials on how to generate the any of the fans with any shapes in your blender 4.1 3d animation and 3d modeling software and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3d modeling 3d animations and 3d game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish the new videos tutorials or sharings you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy happy 3d modeling 3d animations and 3d game developing see you